Hello everyone. This is a Tangia stove. It's an alcohol burner stove that's been made in Sweden for years. Uh, it's gone into their military uh, mess kits and uh, they used to issue them to the soldiers, of course, military mess kits. And uh, you basically put a denatured alcohol in here. You can uh, burn isoprophic alcohol and uh, other alcohols, marine grade alcohol, and it wicks up and you light a little fire inside, you light the alcohol on fire, and what happens, it superheats um, the inside of the burner, and these little holes that you see here actually shoot out the flame and become jets. Um, it's a very efficient stove. Now, um, what I've read, and I haven't personally used these, I have a Swiss military one that I'll show you guys and cook on at some point in time, but it's got a crimp seal right here so that when you put your alcohol in here and the cap has an o-ring in it and screw it down tight and put it in your backpack it can leak um, because again it's just a crimp joint now what i'm going to do and what others have done is go ahead and solder that now i obviously haven't practiced so this is going to be uh well you're going to be right with me it's either going to go or no go um the uh solder that I'm going to use is an acid core solder and uh, I'm just going to use one of my little kitchen tools. This is what they go ahead and uh, burn the top of foods with, making a creme brulee or something like that. And it's a low enough heat that, oh this is it, it's a low enough heat that um, I'm going to try it. My regular torches that I use for soldering, plumbing, just are going to get too hot for this thing. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to take the cap off so I don't burn the o-ring up and set it up. And again, we'll just see what happens. Now I'm going to start my heat at the bottom and uh, slowly work up and heat my work surface. And uh, when I feel like I got hot enough, then we'll, we'll dab the solder in and then work it back down around. I'm just heating all my surfaces evenly. The solder melts at 430 degrees. 430 degrees really isn't that much. Ooh, that melted quickly. Um, I'm going to hit this side. You guys might not be able to see that, but that's okay. You'll see it when we come around the other side. This is going really quickly. My other side doesn't look as good as this does.
starting to get some shadows. I wanted to show you the finished product. I got a bead of solder all around that little crimp seal. It's a little rough, but not bad for first time soldering. Although I have had a lot of practice in our regular job. Um, this Tangia stove does come with a simmering. Um, once you get the, the jets all going, that might be just a little bit too much heat. And so the simmering can go on here and, and be full open or close down a little bit. You get the idea. And then also you can snuff your fire out. And once your stove is cooled down, then you put your cap on with the O-ring that I showed you earlier. And it's a nice tight feel, seal. And uh, now with my solder, I can put this in my backpack and I won't be leaking any fuel. And then the simmering just fits tightly down over that. Nice, neat package. Let's go.